When you want to play music on very low audio levels, there is a kind of problem. And I mean very low le audio levels in a living room. Uh, and this filter was made to compensate somewhat for the loss of the low frequencies. Uh, when music is played quite loud, all frequencies um, are heard by the human ear more or less equally in general. But when the music is played on a very low level, there's a quite a big loss of the low frequencies. So this filter compensates that problem somewhat. And now I'm playing music here. But I um, want to demonstrate the filter first. You can use all kinds of um, scrap uh, electronics. For instance, these old tape heads. This is a magnetic tape head. And this is a video uh, tape head to erase a videotape. But these um, um, coils can be used very well in such a simple filter. Here I've used an erase tape head. The DC resistance is 50 ohms. That's here. And this is another record head. Approximately DC resistance from 10 ohms. And that's here. It's used in a filter circuit. So here we put in the signal from the MP3 player. It's a low impedance output. I don't know how this will work on um, a high impedance output. It was only functional, as far as I could study that, for um, a low impedance uh, output. And here we have the classical one transistor uh, amplifier with a flat audio characteristic. So this uh, audio amplifier will amplify all frequencies in the, the, in the same way, between 20 Hz and say approximately 20 kHz. But here is the filter, that's here. I want to demonstrate now how it sounds. And it was made for low audio levels. I took this uh, box from GVC to demonstrate how that it sounds. This is quite a high uh, audio level for a living room. Though, of course, uh, I don't know how big your living room is, but let's say a five at five meters or so. And I want to demonstrate now how this filter um, reacts on different settings from the potentiometers and also from these two coils. I take another music. This is not the. Okay, this is quite good to demonstrate it. I move now to a very low audio level. This is the, the music. And I turn the potentiometer here, this one, 50k. And the sound characteristic changes somewhat. Not only the strengths, but also how the music sounds. That has to do with the strength of the signal. Now I turn this potentiometer here. 1K. 
you don't hear so much differences. But when you tune the 50k potentiometer, you can hear differences and that also depends on the music that you play. Perhaps it's audible, somewhat more high and here's some lots of high frequencies. So that works. And now I'm going to demonstrate uh, 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 these three inputs from the erase head, from the record head, directly to the cap from, from 680 nanofarad and without the cap directly into this part of the circuit. Ok, let's do it. Uh, the record head, 10 ohms. The uh, erase head, somewhat lower. The sound is more rounded, in my opinion. Sounds more round. Now without uh, the erase head or the other head directly to the 680 here nano cap. And let's turn the potentiometers now also to demonstrate it. Here we have again more a higher sound volume that has to do with the kind of physiological uh, compensation. And we can correct it here a little bit. Back to this level. And now directly to the potentiometer. So now the MP3 player is connected here. So I think it's an interesting circuit. Now I go back to the very low audio level. So this is for instance on an evening when it's quite late and only a tiny sound is produced by the loudspeaker boxes. And it still has to sound good. You have to get a good feeling when you hear your music played. Again, now connected to the erase head. You hear that the sound changes, gets more soft, more warm. And now to the record head. Sound somewhat stronger. Back to the erase head from 50 ohms. So, a useful circuit I think. To play music on a very very low audio level in your living room. And um, of course when you want to make it stereo, you have to make the circuit twice.